And speaking of sports, sports director Jay Tuss just finished up a press conference over at Boise State. Jay, mm -hmm. what happened? Yeah, so um, a few years ago, they instituted an early signing day to uh, pair with a normal signing day. Today's normal signing day. Here's the deal, though, Shira, that uh, a lot of the work is already done on early signing day. So Boise State already did a lot of the heavy lifting prior to the uh, fax machines rolling in the letters of intent this morning. Today, though, the Broncos welcome two, or excuse me, 12 new players to the program. As expected, head coach Andy Avalos and company hit the transfer portal rather hard, acquiring five players with previous collegiate playing experience. This afternoon, Avalos detailed the type of athlete the Broncos are looking for in the recruiting process. The identification and evaluation process never stops. We're going to be relentless with it. We are going to work to find, um, again, young men that have a certain skill set and ability that fulfill a role that we have a need for. And more importantly, their foundation, who they are, their ethics, how much they love the game. We will work uh, relentlessly to find the right young men to bring into this program. Now, something that's pretty cool about this specific signing class is the fact that um, there are seven Idahoans in the, in the signing class. Six of them will be walk-ons. One of them that's getting a scholarship is Carson Rasmussen uh, from over to Waihee High School. I got, we got some video. I was there a little bit earlier this morning. It was a busy day throughout the Treasure Valley, hopping around to a bunch of these uh, locations to uh, celebrate what is a pretty big day for some of these athletes, um, Shira. But like I said, Carson Rasmussen getting a scholarship to play on the offensive line at Boise State. And that guy right to the left of him, uh, that's uh, Zach Nyland. He's going to play football at Montana State, but um, athletes galore uh, celebrating a very special day all over the Treasure Valley. I'm going to have a, a full rundown coming up tonight on the News at 6. Yeah, and real quick, I mean, we're talking about football yeah. here. Any other sports yeah, where oh, people sign? Yeah, great question. Um, uh, Timberline has an athlete that's going to go play uh, basketball at my alma mater, Washington State. Oh. Uh, a gymnast from Bishop Kelly that's going to the University of Minnesota. Um, also a soccer player that's going to play for the, for the Boise State uh, women's uh, soccer team. So um, really kind of a, a cool day, and it's, it's a joy to get out there and acknowledge all these athletes who have worked so hard for this moment. Uh, a number of them are staying locally, but it's cool to also see those that are going to get all, you get to go out and celebrate. There's even a rower, Shira, oh. that's going to go to Ohio State University, University, I should say, the Ohio State University, and a wrestler that's going to go to uh, and, and uh, compete in Nebraska. So, wow. um, yeah, we're, we're going to do our best, man. Yeah. It, was, it was a busy day today. We're yeah. going to try to wrap it all up, and you're going to hear from a lot, a lot of these athletes coming up tonight on the News at 6 as well. All right, looking forward to it. I know you guys have been busy all day. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Jay, for joining us here on the News at 4.